Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Haunted Carousel. So, I was being a complete doofus in the last video, because we already got the brass ring, of course. You don't have to do it again, even though the animation shows. I guess they just didn't do a separate animation for when you don't have to get it anymore. Turns out, there was something we missed over here. I was looking at it off screen, and I just noticed, oh hey, there's this thing with another card reader on it. I thought I clicked here earlier to close it, but it turns out this is different, so let's see what's in here. Here we go. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Tink, we had heard about this guy named Tink, or gal named Tink. Do not touch anything in here without asking me first, or else. All right. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. Okay, well let's call this Tink character. And see what he's got to say. Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? Well, uh, you won't believe me if I uh, told you. That's between me and Miss Santos, I'm afraid. How do I know you even know Miss Santos? Look, if you want to call her, I've got her number right here. I didn't drive 900 miles into the Canadian wilderness to call my boss. Anyway, I can't help it. I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. Okay, so that's the one that we need the combination for, right? You mean the one that's locked? 18... 939. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here at the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! Alright, so that was Tink. Uh, so I'm going to need some roll. I wonder what goes on this spool. I'm going to need that roll before we can really do anything else here. This is where the air comes out. Oh, cool. So we need to switch that on. Something's missing here. All right. Let's wait to uh, do anything there until we go in here and take care of this bit of business. All right, 18.939. Wait, there's only... There's only single digits. So we do it like this, where we do 18, 9, 3, 9? Let's there we go. Miles said the song is on the third roll. Cool, alright, so this, this is... This must be it. That's the third roll. Let's put it in. And let's see, we need to go, not that, turn around, there you go. Go right here, this is what we need. Alright, so, third roll. We just spool it in here, right? The take up dowel is broken. Oh. Well, that's not good. Okay, so we need to find a way to glue this back together or something. So maybe uh, Ingrid will know because she's got a workshop, or, or Elliot. Elliot might know. Alright, let's visit one of them and see if they can help us with this. Of course, these are our suspects. What if they, you know, know what we're up to? Oh, hey, Hello? cell phone. Hi, Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great, let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Oh? Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. 
The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Ooh, that sounds like Harlan. It's right. locked. It's locked. Oh. I can't get in. Okay. We need to find out what that combo is. Let's talk to Elliot. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be alright if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess. I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Ooh, we can look through all his things. All right. Here we go. What do we got here? Some drawings of a seahorse. Cool. Uh, there was that one thing that he was piping up about when we were trying to look at it, right? It was this. Collector's hot sheet. Antique hmm, instruments. If Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Sukov's number. So he's a art professor, huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, it sounds like we might want to call that guy. Okay, so we should probably read the manual and review what we need to know about the lathe. Which is way down here. Alright, where are safety goggles? Alright, where are safety goggles? We need to find those first. You know, I wonder what would happen if we didn't use the safety goggles. Can we do that? I guess it's not letting us. Okay, so we need to find goggles here. Where did you keep your goggles, Elliot? That's a Poppy Dada. Hey! I would recognize that art style anywhere. Oh, hey, what's this? Those look like horse tails. Hmm, that's curious. Now, why would you have those? I can use this to measure. So I'm assuming we need to use that to measure after we're done making the wood stuff? Is that how it goes? Hmm... I want to know where these goggles are, though. What is up with this? Like, can I do anything with these? I I feel like there's something I'm missing here with this fan. I can't move my mouse around while those papers are blowing. Where am I supposed to get goggles, guys? Oh, here we go. Wow, 360 board feet. That's a lot of wood. Ooh. I'm going to take that with me. All right, I need goggles, guys. Where are the goggles? Where are the goggles? He said we had he had goggles here, right? Oh, there, right here. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Indeed. All right. So now can we start up? Uh, I thought we could zoom in on this earlier. Can we not do that? Better leave these goggles here. No, I need to wear these. Okay, what do I do? There we go. Okay. To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. Oh, okay. So we need wood. There we go. So 
So I need to put the wood here. Where do I put it? Right, right here. There we go. Is that it? Oh, I can move this. Okay, so this is going to be interesting, because I need to set this to, like, a certain, certain thing. Alright, is there a way I can measure the old dowel? To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece Better of wood. Better leave these goggles here. So maybe I need to look at the measurements of the old dowel to get an idea? Alright, so the old dowel was, like, 14, I'm going to assume inches. Okay. Alright, so we need to make this 14 inches, I guess. I'm not entirely certain I know what I'm doing here, but... We'll try to wing this. Hopefully we can get it. Oh, hey, it matches perfectly. Alright. Uh... How do I slide it? That doesn't look right. Yeah, I know. Hang on a sec. I'm trying to figure out exactly what what the controls are here. So I put this in. Okay. How do I? S oh, there we go. I do this. <laughs> Is that right? That doesn't look right. Better leave these goggles here. Okay, let me look at the one that we measured for reference, the old one. I feel like this is kind of trial by error. Okay, so it's looking like this small thing... Like, everything but the edges are cut. So it starts at, like, two and a half, and then all the way to eleven and a half. Okay, so two and a half to eleven and a half is where everything is all thinned out. So let's try that. To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. All right, so if I move this over here, we can't. What? I can't put it at two and a half. This is not good. Well, I guess we can try... So that doesn't really do anything. This setting... Does a little... Oh, you're in the hospital with a piece of wood in your eye? Oh! Several pieces actually. Oh, I forgot to put the, the goggles on! Most of them out. I used Elliot's lathe without wearing eye protection. <laughs> Never do that again. Why were you using Elliot's lathe? Whoops. I was making a new dowel for the band organ. I'm beginning to think being cursed is nothing compared to having you around. You're off the case. Ouch. Okay, um... Let's try that again, but with the goggles. Sorry about that, I forgot to put those on. Alright. Sorry I'm kind of quieter, I'm just trying to figure out what it is we're doing. So if I do this... Okay. That looks cool. See, my issue is, it feels like I'm supposed to knock, like, a whole piece of this off. Whoops, I guess you have to reset it. There you go. That doesn't look right. See, how do I get it such that it cuts off, like, a whole chunk? Like, a whole bit of it there is thinner than the outside. To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. Okay, so I do this. 
That doesn't do anything, but if I go... Let's go all the way in like that. Okay, that takes off a big chunk. So if I keep doing that... Okay, I think I see what I have to do. I have to get it such that it... That doesn't look right. Okay, I, I think I get it now. That's like a midpoint for how much it's cutting off. So if I do this... But now I move this over there... I think this will do the trick. There we go, okay. That works. Awesome. We just keep going until we get to 11 and a half. Uh, okay, this is looking more and more like the original, so I'm, I've got hope. There we go. That should be right, right? That doesn't look right. What? I thought that was correct. Is that too much? To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. So maybe that was just too much. Let's try. Let's try this. We'll do the middle option. That doesn't look right. I'm going to look at the Where reference one again. goggles here? I'm gonna look at the reference one again, just to be sure. See, that looks awfully thin. I don't know, I feel like we had it right before. Did we not have it right before? Man, I don't know. Let's just try going through with that middle option again. I still feel like the way we had it was good. Make sure to wear our eye goggles. All right, now we'll try mid-option and see how this goes. That could work. We'll run with it and see where this... Oh, wait a minute. No, that doesn't work. So maybe the way we had it was actually right. Maybe we just have to do a longer version of it? Alright, let's keep going. Let's see how this goes. I see, I thought we had to use the thing to measure that out exactly, but maybe it's not so exact. Right there is so perfect. Okay, that's it. We can. That's all we can do, right? That doesn't look right. Okay, there is obviously Better something weird here. going on here. Let me look at this here again. So I'm not seeing any weird kind of. Oh, wait, that's like a dip right there. Oh, okay. All right, let's try... Let, let, let's try it. Let's, let's give it a whirl. We'll, we'll make sure we put that there. I think that's what we missed. All right, so we start here, right? And we're going to go full throttle on this one. And then we move to the right. And we keep doing this. So I'm suspecting that we need to just stick with like the first real level of this, of the cutting. In order to, wait, how do I move this? Oh, I can only do it while it's out like that. Yeah, I'm suspecting that we just need to stick with the first level of cutting, um, just so we don't make too much of a dent here at the end. Give it a try, at least. 
Okay, and then we do one last one. Except this time, I'm going to do that. There we go. That looks perfect. Awesome. All right, we finally got it. Better leave these goggles here. Good idea. All right. Whew, man. That wasn't supposed to be that hard. Okay, let's see what we got here inside the thing. I think the mistake I made here is I recorded this late at night. I shouldn't be recording so late. Um, where's the... here it is. Okay, so now we go in here, we put the rod inside. There we go. So now we just put the roll in, right? Cool. So that should do, right? Roll. So I think that's all we need to listen to, right? That should be enough to go on, because right? I'm assuming the tune we need to, to play is dun 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 dun. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for miles and see what happens. All right. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. Suck it to me. Uh. Hooray! Oh, that was I it. Remember that song? I did ride the carousel over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You love the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is that part of the riddle? Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. Oh. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? That's interesting. The park must have a record of that transaction. I haven't seen it, but you're right. It must be around here somewhere. Hmm. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. Did we find that? I remember we found a piece of paper for... No, that was for wood. That was in Elliot's area. Okay, so we need to find this transaction thing. So is Ingrid still not around? It's locked. Okay, so she's still not here. Is Harlan here? He's not here. Ooh, Snoopy Snoopy time. All right. ICU surveillance. Okay. So that looks interesting. Requested code? Oh, I wonder if this is the code that leads into Ingrid's area. Let's try to see here. Yeah, this looks like some kind of security thing. I need a tape. Oh, we can watch tapes. VHS tapes at that. Okay, well, we don't have one of those yet, but maybe soon we might be able to use it. Of course, we could try using that combination here. I can pull it up. 
but I'm suspecting it's for that door. Let's uh, let's give it a try. One, zero, one, one, nine, zero. Oh, hey, that actually worked. Okay, we can look through all these things. Appointments. Haircut. Lewis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Ooh, okay. What would we say to him, though? It's like, hey, Lewis G., we were looking around through your friend's stuff and we found your number. Ooh. A tape. Alright, I'm gonna watch that for sure. Can we mess around with this? Nope, but I can't. Oh, no, I can't look at that. Okay, well, I can't really seem to do anything else here but look at Harlan's security stuff and the locker. So let's watch that tape and see what he has. Ooh, it's Ingrid's area. Okay, there she is. It looks like Harlan's been spying Three, on seven, Ingrid. Two, six. Okay. Zero, seven, six. I better put this six. back where I found it. Yeah. Good idea. All right. There we go. I like the fact that this game forces you to do that. That's nice. All right. Let's go and see what Ingrid is hiding in here. Sweet. All right. So what does she have in her garage area here? SW. Hey, fancy. That's pretty cool. What wow, that's one expensive watch. Whoa. $19,999? Holy cow. That is too much. Oh, man. Anything else to see here? We can look at this stuff. Call LH about results. LH. Lance Huffington, maybe? Uh-oh. Okay, well, we've got several people we can call here. So let's do that right now. See if they've got anything to say. Uh, let's go call Lewis first. See who Lewis is. Maybe it's his barber or something. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Luis Guerra's office. Interesting. You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Sure. Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? Well, not exactly. I don't know, though. I didn't say that, but when was he paroled, do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Okay. So this is definitely casting Mr. Bishop in a more suspicious light. See what LH has to say. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. So, is everything okay? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? 
Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Ooh, so Ingrid has been working with this guy. Interesting. Let's call this Sukov guy that Elliot had his number in his office for. Sukov? My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot Sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. Okay. Let's see if he knows anything about our mystery horse. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. Interesting. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Well, it seemed to be in that position, the one that was uh, removed. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Hmm. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. Indeed. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. I'm sure it does. Thanks for all the info. The pleasure was oh, all mine. I just noticed this game was capitalizing internet. Man, that was the day. All right, so... At this point, we've gotten some interesting info. I think next time we're going to continue following up on what we found. And hopefully we'll find out the name of this song or whatever it is we need to find out for joy. So I'm getting kind of tired, so I think I'm going to call it a night here for this recording block. And tomorrow, hopefully, we'll continue on and we'll discover more stuff. So until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.